my name is Beck, and welcome to a wrap up of my recent reads. I'm just going to quickly share my thoughts with you on the five books that I've recently finished. The first book that I'm going to be talking about is Mirage by Somya Dowd. This is a young adult sci fi following Amani, and she has been ripped from her cultural home and thrown into this spaceship where she's got to be the body double for the Princess of the Galaxy. What I really loved about this book was how important family and culture was to our main character Amani, and I also really liked the fact that the villain in this story wasn't just a two-dimensional character, she actually had motives and was manipulated herself. What ended up impacting my star rating in the end after I finished this book though was the fact that Amani, after falling for the love interest, she kind of not lost, but she kind of diverted a little bit from the original determination she had at the beginning of the book and that kind of derailed the story a little bit for me. So I did really enjoy this but I felt mean giving it a 3 out of 5 stars but it wasn't quite a 4 out of 5 stars either so I kind of just stuck a 3.75 star awkward rating on it and moved on. Next I sped through Imposters by Scott Westerfeld and this is another young adult sci-fi set after the Uglies trilogy which I loved. This story follows Frey and she's a body double to her sister and nobody knows that she exists when her father sends her into this house to make a political deal as she is basically the collateral damage that he doesn't really care about her possibly dying. Imposters had all of the slang and the action and the technology that I expected out of a Scott Westerfeld book. His writing is really simple but very digestible and he's great at conveying exactly what's going on in a scene. I loved the action in this as I expected. The romance for me was a little bit quick, but given the circumstances were so dire, I could kind of forgive that. I ended up really loving this and I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars and I'll definitely be continuing on. This is book one in a new four book saga, so I can't wait to see what comes next. Now this next book I talk about a little in my reading vlog and it took me a little bit of time to finish because I fell into a bit of a reading slump, but that is Salvation by Peter F. Hamilton. Salvation follows two timelines, one in a really far future where people are genetically modified to fight against humanity's enemy, and then one in the near future where disease is pretty much cured, people can live to like 150 years old, and it's kind of a more developed society where technology is concerned. This technological society that's fairly close to ours is told in different perspectives of scientists that are on this mission to uncover what this spaceship is that has randomly landed near Earth. I think I struggled a little bit reading this book because if I took any of the characters that are the scientists and put them into each other's story, I find that they would have reacted the same. So I didn't really connect with the characterization in that aspect but when it came to the genetic soldiers they were really interesting and I really connected to the characters there. I feel like they were a lot more fleshed out. Overall this book was a lot to digest, it was very thick and I really enjoyed the descriptions of it but it felt more weighted to plot rather than to character. I did give this a 4 out of 5 stars even though it took me a while to read I can actively look back and say I did enjoy this. This next one I finished because I flew through the audiobook so fast and ended up loving it and that is The Black Prison by Brent Weeks. When I first started watching booktube I remember Reagan from Peru's Project raving about this series and I went out and bought it knowing nothing about it and I've only finally just read it now and I regret not reading it sooner because it was awesome. This story follows Kit who's kind of a loser and down on his luck but then his village gets attacked by these soldiers and he realizes that he can kind of draft. Drafting in this story is where the character can control different colours of the light spectrum and make it a tangible force that they can fight with. But most people can only draft maybe one colour, maybe two. It's quite rare to draft more than that. We also follow a character named Gavin and he's the prism. Being the prism means that he has power over all the different light spectrum and there's only one prism born every generation. This has the perfect balance of magic, vivid action and humour. I honestly didn't expect it to be funny, but I found that I was laughing out loud listening to the audiobook at times. All of the characters were really unique as well, and like I said with Salvation, I couldn't pull them out of that situation and put them in another one and expect the same result. They all had very unique views and unique motivations, which I really loved. As I predicted in my reading vlog, I did give this a 5 out of 5 stars. And the last book I finished was actually a sequel, and that is Wild Card by Marie Lu. This is a young adult virtual reality sci-fi book. In book one, which is Warcross, we follow Amika Chen and she's a poor hacker who hacks into the World Warcross Championship games and everyone witnesses her appearing in the middle of these games. And after that happens, the creator of this Warcross game contacts her and employs her to be a hacker for him. 
The events in Wildcard obviously continue the events in Warcross, so I can't really talk about Wildcard without spoiling anything for you, so I won't. But it is still set in Tokyo and we're still following Amika Chen as the main character. I found this duology a lot of fun and I ended up giving this book 4 out of 5 stars. Even though I kind of had an issue with the virtual reality, I find it really hard to visualize when I'm reading about it because I don't think it's very well explained, but I did like the journey the characters went on and I really liked how everything unfolded. I didn't predict the twists, which was really, really cool. And so those are the books that that I read recently. I can't believe most of these were sci-fi except for The Black Prism. That's pretty unusual that they're not more fantasy in here. Let me know a book that you've recently finished as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!